it too like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. It's the Nation of Podcasts and Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Hip hop icon, superstar, and legend Jay Z tells the real reason he don't fool with Dame Dash no more. Now, as we all know, these two started Rockefeller Records, the Rockefeller Records Empire together. Dame, Jay Z, Biggs, they put everything together and made Rockefeller one of the biggest hip hop labels of all time. There's no question about that. I mean, just look at all the people that spawned from the rock. You had Kanye West, Twista, Jay Z, uh, uh, Freeway, Beanie Siegel, Memphis Bleak, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on with all the legends that worked under Rockefeller. Well, in a recent interview, Jay Z tells the real reason why he had to cut off Dame Dash. He says he's outgrown him. He said that he can't mess with him no more. So let's take a look at this clip from Hove. I think in the, in the beginning, it's about you and your circle, okay, right? You take your circle, you got the people that grind with you every day and share your dreams and slept on the floor with you, and you, you know, and then you make it out. And then you look, and he's like, okay, what else? <laughs> right? What else? Like, how else can I be of service? Mm -hmm. You achieve these goals that you thought were, you know, unattainable in the beginning, and you achieve them. And then you look around and you say, okay, how can we duplicate this? The reason we created Rock Nation was to be able to say, okay, this is all the information we gathered. Here it is, Rihanna. Here it is, Kanye. You know, whomever, whomever, right? Like, and just like here, here's the information. So if we um, achieve those goals at 36, you do it at 26. Yeah, I think... All right, so there we have it. Now, I like what Ho says. It wasn't no real shots. He said that, hey, he kind of just moved on from them, started his own thing with Rock Nation, and look what he spawned. He got Rihanna, and he got Kanye West. Another couple billionaires added to Jay-Z. So shout out to Ho. He's never really wanted to go word for word or tip for tat. We know Dame Dash is big on going tip for tat uh, with Jay-Z or whatever Jay-Z may do or say. He's got a response, or in every interview, Jay-Z is going to come up, and I mean, of course he is because Jay-Z and Dame were Suge and Pac, Puff and Big, no Diddy. You know what I'm talking about? So Nation, what do you guys think about Jay-Z's comments? Do you think he played Dame Dash? You think Jay-Z played Dame Dash with the whole the way Rockefeller Records ended? Nation, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Please. O'Shea and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.